I spent a significant part of my life living in my backpack. So the last 10 years I've, I've traveled a lot. I learned to always fit everything, uh, I would say up to two weeks into a hand carry luggage. I think not owning a whole pile of stuff, not being sort of committed to a lot of things and so on is very nice. I then realized that I was living near Glasgow and I realized it was raining every day and I'm like, Hey, you know, why spend time living in Glasgow when you could live somewhere where it rains less and less taxes and yeah, a lot of options, but yeah, then I started 2014 or maybe early 15, I started an outsourcing company because many of the clients that I was working with, I could see they really struggled to hire good people. So we have, as you mentioned, we have the SEO mastery summit in Saigon, which is obviously the best SEO conference in the world. And it takes place in March, lots of amazing networking and lots of great speakers and all this good stuff. And yeah, generally, fundamentally for me, we, we have lots of clients that, that goes through this. And I would say the key things is uh, you still need to learn to manage uh, a lot of time. The main reason why people don't get the most out of household labor is because they treat them as lower cost labor. Fundamentally, people are people. If you treat them like an employee, they will generally deliver good stuff. But for me, the number one thing is definitely networking. But what I've always found is the easiest way to get a business off the ground is going out and meet, meeting people in person. Because when you build relationships, when you meet real people, when you show them who you are, when you show them you're trustworthy, hopefully you show them you're trustworthy, you're significantly more likely to get clients on board. But when you're trying to be a social media company, what happens is, first of all, you end up going out hiring people like yourself who hopefully know a whole bunch of different things about a whole bunch of different things, but no one is great at everything. It, it's so hard to get consistent results when you're not focused on a process, right? That also makes your marketing significantly easier because typically it brings out very clearly what exactly you're doing and who you're doing. It for. And what I tell them all is when you're the only one that can, it means you haven't clarified your offer. You haven't nail down your process. So that's one thing. The second thing is organizations exist for the specialization of labor, meaning you take a process and you break it into steps and you do it for a very keen reason, because you want to make sure that when you're executing processes, that, that people are doing smaller steps. So the whole point is you, you have something to deliver. You want to break that down into steps. So that you can hire individual people for individual steps and helps you to scale and grow faster 